Mandatory mini camp is underway for the Chicago Bears. And we're going to talk about some of the biggest takeaways uh, from the Chicago Bears opening day in mini camp. We're also going to talk about Keenan Allen trying to prove himself in a contract year. We're going to get into all that and more after this. You are now tuned into Chicago Bears Central, your number one place for all Chicago Bears news and content. What's going on, Bears fans? Welcome to another episode of Chicago Bears Central, your number one spot for everything Chicago Bears related. I'm the host, Sir Hayes, but more importantly, you guys can follow the channel at Shy Bears Central on every social media platform that we happen to be on. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into it for the content for today. And so, uh, mini camp is underway for the Chicago Bears. And uh, yeah, it was a bit of a rough day for the offense uh, yesterday. And, you know, after OTAs, there were a lot of Bears fans that kind of had some concerns over the one bad day of practice that uh, Caleb Williams had in OTAs. Well, it seems like it was a more of a mixed bag yesterday. It seems like the two-minute drill were dominated by the defense in that two-minute drill. And overall, a lot of the things that are coming out of it is that, you know, Keenan Allen had the quote of, they look like a top-five defense. They sound like a top-five defense, too. So we'll talk about the defense a little bit here in a second. But it seems like there's some issues with the offense and the chemistry right now. Specifically, the cadence of the offense seems pretty off. Matt Ibufu saying this, it's the whole team, the whole offensive unit. We got to get on the same page to make sure we're not committing pre-snap penalties, not getting behind the sticks. You guys saw today that we were first and 15, second and 15. It's hard to operate that way. In the huddle, he was crisp and clear in all those things. This is from Cole Komet. I think he just comes in with confidence in the playbook that he's gaining. And like I said, kind of fighting his own voice with the cadence because that's definitely something that if you can get going, we you can weaponize. So it's 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 the offense is a work in progress. And I said and told you guys to be prepared for the offense to not be as smooth at the start of the season as, of course, what we want to see it be at the end of the season. That's just what it comes down to. And I think a lot of Bears fans have this thing of because of the hype around Caleb Williams and things like that, they have these expectations that this offense is just going to hit the ground running. Caleb Williams is going to look like a stud right away. He's going to look like this generational talent and there's going to be no flaws. No, there's going to be having uh, there's going to be some of that. And it wasn't all bad. It was a mixed bag. The Bears offense seemed to play solidly in the 7-on-7 and the 11-on-11, but the defense specifically won that two-minute drill. But again, the cadence being off in the offense is a big part of that, but that's going to take some time as well to really get that um, to to be all on the same page. But not to just harping on the negative, the positive. DJ Moore got a lot of attention in the past game uh, yesterday, and that is to be expected. DJ Moore became one of the favorite weapons of Justin Fields. We know that it's going to be a lot uh, with him being the wide receiver one. He is going to get his line shares of the opportunities. And so it seems like DJ Moore is coming in. He's making some big plays. He still has that potential. And it seems like DJ Moore is on pace to be that go-to target for Caleb Williams that we are wanting and waiting to see. And then also it looks like Caleb Williams and Romo Dunze are building a nice chemistry as well on top of that. So it seems like uh, for multiple members of the media that the uh, Caleb Williams and Romo Dunze connection is something that's been thriving so far. Chris Fishbane said this, a sidearm quick pass to Romo Dunze to beat the blitz. So he's feeling he's starting to fill out that and be comfortable. And that's what you want to see right now uh, with Caleb Williams is that comfortability. And that's why him learning the playbook has been such a big thing for the Chicago Bears in this cycle as well because him learning and having a great grasp of that playbook is going to be a really big thing uh, for him and the Chicago Bears offense overall and what it can be and so you know Keenan Allen had the chemistry there isn't as as big as as what it is before Keenan Allen even saying that you know the 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 chemistry there is a work in progress so they're trying to find their balance right now Keenan Allen saying it's going to be a work in progress sometime in training camp we will start to understand each other so you know overall from the offense the mixed bag Still more positive than negative. They did lose that two-minute drill, but it seems like Caleb Williams, per the, the comments from Cole Komet and others, is really is really understanding how to play calls. He's commanding the huddle, which is a good thing. The cadence part of it, that's going to that's gonna work itself out. That's just a new offensive coordinator, a lot of new weapons, you know, a lot of p- players that weren't even on this team last year, and even some playing new roles. So it's going to be a work in progress for that offensive side of the ball, and that's what we're hearing right now come out of out of out of mini camp and that's that's not anything that I'm worried too too much about. I know some Bears fans are going to really be kind of stressed out and worried about it, but I think more so than anything is to take away that the defense even without Montez what is looking good. And Montez was not out there because he's going through a ramp up period. 
uh, you know, Matt Eberflew said this, uh, said as far as because he didn't, uh, he wasn't there at OTAs, there's just a period of time of ramping him up, getting him more comfortable. But I don't think they're really too worried about it. Matt Eberflew saying our system and our culture allows guys to play at their maximum capacity. It's coached by coaches and enforced by players. So they, they, they believe in, like, Montez what is isn't the thing that you got to worry about. He led two teams in sacks last year with six with the Bears, six and a half with the, with the Washington Commanders. Montez Sweat is going to be good. He's going to be solid. But then you get into some of the other things with the defense that have really stood out. And we've talked a lot about Austin Booker and how Austin Booker coming to the Chicago Bears team and really thriving can, cha- can make the difference in that pass rush for the Chicago Bears. And it seems that right now, Austin Booker has really stood out on the second team defense. And that's where he's going to start out right now. Uh, according to Zach Pearson, he showcases speed uh, coming at the edge. And he had at least one sack and a few pressures on Tyson Bajan and that second team uh, overall. So seems like Austin Booker, we've talked about, if he does win a starting role, which it's not necessarily a knock on DeMarcus Walker if he does because of DeMarcus' ability uh, to be kind of fluid in that. But if he does end up winning that starting position, uh, you know, it's going to be because of him turning heads in practice. And it seems like he's quick right now, which is surprising a lot of people. He's getting pressure on the quarterback. He's being uh, consistent. And he is a sleeper to watch right now for the Chicago Bears to see how they how they uh, groom him as well. Montez Sweat has also talked about Austin Booker and said this, oh man, I'm excited about him. He's got the whole makeup to, uh, to the frame, to the pass rushing ability. He's going to be a great player. So even Montez Sweat starting to understand and kind of his head being turned in regards to Austin Booker and what he can be on this team. And that's good. Austin Booker has a chance and an opportunity to really increase his role and to play a big role for the Chicago Bears, even if he doesn't end up starting because the depth at that edge position is so weak right now for the Bears. He's going to have a big opportunity to earn a role with this team. And so, you know, good things right now coming out of mini camp so far. You know, am I concerned about kind of the chemistry between Keenan Allen and Kayla Williams? No, not really. Um, I'm not really too worried about that as it stands right now. I think that overall, uh, you know, it's going to come with time. It's a new, hell, Keenan Allen, a whole new team, whole new situation. It's going to take some time. I know we like to think of these guys like they're robots, but it's going to take some time. And even with the Bears losing, the offense losing the two-minute drill, let's not overlook that or make that seem like it was a bad overall day for the offense. Caleb Williams reportedly made some really good uh, plays at the line of scrimmage. Uh, he bit, he beat the blitz on a couple of times, so he's showing a good uh, ability to identify that blitz and know where to go with it. And also, it looks like he, he showed a little bit of scrambling as well, to, but to, to still throw the ball, not necessarily to make plays with his legs as well. So it's a big sign that the Bears offense is headed in the right direction, even despite some too many drills. But that could just very well be because of how good the Chicago Bears offense is. And at that time, uh, you know, we'll see, man. We'll see. But I, I, I get it. People aren't happy when I say this, but you got to practice some patience when it comes to your overall expectations of Caleb Williams. He is going to be good, right? And even if you think he's going to be great, it's going to take some time. And this offense overall, not just because of Caleb Williams, but overall because of all of it, it's it's going to uh, take some time. And I get it. We have an impatience because the Bears moved on. They moved on from a quarterback. They went out and got their guy at quarterback. And now people want to see what is it going to be for this Bears team? How quick can Caleb get uh, up to rhythm and he can get this offense firing on all cylinders? If he can do that, it's a big day for the Chicago Bears and it's going to be a big season for the Bears. But even with that said, it's going to take some time, people. But hearing that he has good chemistry with DJ Moore, hearing the connection between him and Romo Dunze is really good. Hearing, you know, some of those things, even Kevin Bayard talking good about the offense overall, there's some good, really good things in this right now. And the Bears offense is going to be okay. The defense is just further ahead than the offense. But if you've been listening, to Chicago Bears Central, we've been telling you for a while to expect that. That is something that you guys should have been expecting because it just makes the most sense. It is what it is when it comes down to it. Um, it's like I said, it's not something that everybody wants to hear at all times, but it is sometimes the realistic uh, thought process there. It's going to take some time, and hopefully the Bears come out of that on the other side, and we actually have a team and an offense that's ready to go, ready to fire on all cylinders, and we'll take a look at what this means for the Chicago Bears. But with that said, there's starting to be a little doubt or questions around.